Hello colors and welcome again to another interesting episode of Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing a roundup of the latest Barcelona news and transfer rumors. Starting with Iyas Moriba, as many have been calling him now the contract rebel because of the situation he is right now with Barca. You know, he has not yet signed a contract and it's really a problematic something given that his agents are demanding high and we all know the situation Barcelona are going through right now. So according to multiple reports, Barcelona, you know, have already informed Iyas Moriba that you face a strict punishment if he does not sign a contract extension. And what is that punishment all about? We will be discussing on it as we move ahead. Then also talking about Samuel Umtiti's future at Barcelona, which we all know it is very unclear and very uncertain if Umtiti will be there next season. You know, reports have emerged that his former club, Olympique Lyonnais, have been showing interest in him lately and they want him back in France. So we're going to be discussing on that as well. Then lastly, we're going to be talking about this transfer rumor. This time around in the Barca B as it has been reported that Barca are on the verge of signing 20 year old attacking midfielder Antonio Aranda from Granada who was also a transfer target for Real Madrid. So colors as we get ready to discuss those interesting stories in full detail endeavor to click on that subscribe below if you haven't if you're new to our channel and also ensure you watch this video right up to the very end so you get all the details you won't want to miss. Barca. Report from Spanish newspaper Sport have it that Barcelona have communicated to Iax Moriba their intentions of sending him to Juvenile A in case he does not renew his contract. This comes as the latest development in a chain of events over the past few weeks that saw the negotiations reach a roadblock. Since receiving his first call up to the first team dynamics back in January 2021, the 18-year-old has been vital cog in Ronald Koeman's plans. He quickly climbed up the ranks ahead of experienced Miralem Pjanic and fan favorite Ricky Push to become the first choice midfielder to introduce as a regular substitute. Since the 4 0 victory over Granada, the central midfielder has racked up 18 appearances for the Black Granas with 4 starts. Needless to say, in addition to his 2 assists and a goal, Iax has been solid and reliable. A dead end was reached in contract negotiations earlier this month when a La Masia graduate representative demanded a higher salary for the midfielder. Understandably, the economically handicapped board of Barcelona had to decline the proposal and has chosen to freeze EAX out of the first team dynamics until a renewal is agreed upon. In 2019, EAX was tied down to the club in a contract worth 1 million euros for 3 years. It was the highest salary awarded to talent in the youth academy, you know, clearly displaying the hopes and investment Barcelona have put into its development. It has also been reported that Real Madrid are watching the Spaniards contract situation with keen eyes, hoping to snatch him from the Barcelona youth ranks. Though it would be unfortunate for the club to lose a player of his caliber, Barcelona's delicate financial situation is a bigger worry. Laporta has been dealing rough with the young stars party and he understandably does not intend to give in to Iax Moriba. Moving on to the next story of this episode, as per a report relayed by Sport, French club Olympique Lyonnais are exploring the possibility of signing former player Samuel Mtiti on a loan deal. The seven-time league earn winners are willing to pay 50% of his salary. You know, what truly matters at this point in time is knowing whether or not such a deal fits into Barca's economic and sporting plans. This is because of a handful of reasons, you know. From an economic standpoint, Barcelona cannot keep the wage structure as it is now, so they have to make sales as this will make it easier for the club to resign Messi. Barca have additionally refused to make any loan deals in which the interested party pays less than 50% of the salary. This was the case with Felipe Coutinho, who the club are now open to keeping, as I reported earlier. So, from a sporting standpoint now, the Blackgrana are yet to sign an adequate replacement, you know. As it stands, the Catalan club have five first-team centre-backs, but among them, there are problems pertaining to inexperiences and injuries of which Umtiti himself is a constant victim. Additionally, Oscar Mingueza is yet to receive official promotion to the senior team, while Eric Garcia is yet to play a single first-team game for the club. Clement Langlet has been rumored with an exit as well, which will leave Barca with just Umtiti as their left-footed centre-back. 
The belief is that Barcelona might be reluctant to send him back to his former club because they don't have enough players for this to be a safe deal. So Samuel Umtiti has had one of his worst seasons in a Barca shirt to date to be honest and despite some encouraging displays you know his form gradually regressed and he reverted to his previous and now usual abysmal levels. And on to the final story of this episode, according to a report from Ideal de Granada, Barcelona are set to make another addition to their B team roster this summer, with Spanish midfielder Antonio Aranda, who was also on the radars of Real Madrid, set to arrive from Granada. You know, a product of the Granada Youth Academy, Aranda has risen through the ranks of the La Liga outfit, going on to make 41 appearances for the club's second team, in which he has scored 6 goals. The 20-year-old attacking midfielder made his senior debut for the Nazarias you know, last season in a Copa de Rey clash against UD San Juan, registering an assist in a 2-0 win. He featured once more in the competition for Granada. Aranda's contract with the club expired at the end of last month and negotiations over a new deal haven't gone as per plans. I led to the situation, both Real Madrid and Barca are waiting in the wings to swoop. But it is the latter that seem to have clinched the signing of the attacking midfielder as per the report. Barcelona have been going strong in their recruitment for the B team as they eye promotion to the Segunda Division after falling at the playoff stages last time out. You know, set to be under the new management of Sergi Bajuan, the Catalans have already added the likes of Ferran Jotla and Jody Escobar to the roster, while Yusuf Demi was also signed on a loan deal with an option to make the switch permanent. More recently, former academy starlet Kais Ruiz Arteo also resigned in a free transfer after his contract with Paris Saint-Germain ran out. And Barcelona seems set to repeat the trick with the signing of Aranda on a bossman move following the expiry of his deal with Granada last month. So callers, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't clicked on that subscribe button below, please make sure you do so so you always stay in touch with the latest Barcelona updates here on our channel Viva Barca. Until next time, Visca El Barca.